Hello, welcome to Learning Chinese, Practical Writing and Speaking. Before we start, let me remind you of taking out your notebooks and sharpening your pencils. Later, we're going to write together. What's in the season? One, several main traditional festivals in China will be chosen and introduced. Two, the writing and speaking of the festival related practical Chinese characters, expressions, or sentences will be presented. And today, we go to traditional Chinese festivals, the Latin festival. The date of the Latin festival is the 15th day of the first lunar month. Many red Latins are hung up on that day, representing happiness and peace. So in English, the festival is named the Latin festival, while in Chinese, it is Yuan Xiao Jie. Now, let's write Yuan Xiao Jie together. Before writing, there are two things I want to tell. One. You are always encouraged to mark the pronunciation of each Chinese character in your own way. Two, don't worry a lot about the tones of the characters, because when you and your friends talk, there is always a context and focus between you. As long as you pronounce the characters right, it's not easy for your friends to misunderstand you, so don't worry a lot about the tones of the characters. And now, let's write the festival Yuan Xiao Jie together first. Okay, Yuan, a short line, a longer line, slide down, curve, and hook. It's Yuan, Xiao, a dot, one more dot, horizontal line, hook, three dots, Top down, a turn, hook, connect, and connect. It is Xiao Jie, its character, which we have written for many times in many of our previous episodes. It is written like this. Do you still remember? Cross and cross, a turn, hook, and top down. It is Jie. Yuan means first. Here refers to the first month of the lunar calendar, while Xiao means night. Jie means a festival or festivals. The first full moon of the year falls on the night of the 15th day of the first lunar month. At that day is called Yuan Xiao Jie. Now, could you please read after me? Yuan Xiao Jie Yuan Xiao Jie Yuan Xiao Jie Customers in Yuan Xiao Jie And the first one is eating sweet soup balls in Chinese. This Chi Tang Yuan and now let's write Chi Tang Yuan together. Chi, the single character Ko, meaning a mouth of someone is put on the left of Chi. Okay. And on the right, it is written like this straight out, horizontal, curve, and hook. It is Chi Tang three dots, a turn, a turn again, hook, slide down, slide down again, okay, this tang, yuan, top down, a turn, hook, one more single character ko is put here, top down, a turn, Slide down, a dot, and close. It is Yuan. Okay, 
Chi means to eat. Tang means soup. While Yuan means a bowl or the shape of a bowl. So Tang Yuan means balls in soup. Now, could you please read after me? Chi, Tang, Yuan, Chi, Tang, Yuan, Chi, Tang, Yuan. Okay, here I want to draw your special attention to the character Chi. The left part of Chi itself is a single character too sounding ko, and it means a mouth or mouths. Characters with this part often mean an action done or taken with the help of your mouth. Let's take a look at some more examples with this part. And the first character here sounds chang. It means to sing. And the second character here sounds he. It means to drink. And the last character sounds twin. Have you noticed it? The part ko is put at the bottom of the character. It means to swallow. Now, could you please read after me? Chang. He. Twin. Once again. Chang. He. Tun. Okay, very good. And let me introduce you one more customer. In Yuan Xiaojie, it is watching Latin shows. In Chinese, Kan Deng Hui. And now let's write Kan Deng Hui together first. Okay, Kan. Slide down. Two horizontal lines. Cross and slide down, top down, a turn, hook, connect and connect, and close. It is can. Dung, two dots, slide down, a dot, horizontal line, cross and hook. It is dung. Hui. Slide down, press down, two horizontal lines, an acute angle, and a dot. It is Hui. Kan means to watch. Deng means a Latin or Latins, while Hui means gathering or meeting. Deng Hui means a gathering of Latins. So enjoy the beautiful Latin gatherings in Chinese is Kan Deng Hui. Now could you please read after me? Kan Deng Hui. Kan Deng Hui. Kan Deng Hui. Let's take a look at some introduction to Yuan Xiaojie. Yuan Xiaojie is also a romantic festival. In traditional feudal society, young girls were allowed to hang out in festivals only. Kan Deng Hui provided an opportunity for the unmarried to go on a mate hunt. Many costume dramas in China has featured Kan Deng Hui in which youngsters meet and fall in love with each other. And nowadays, Kan Deng Hui is still a time for people to meet with their lovers. In Taiwan, there is the tradition of unmarried women to pick vegetables on the night of Yuan Xiaojie, hoping for a happy marriage. So, Yuan Xiaojie is also regarded as a Chinese Valentine's Day. And now, I want to draw your special attention to the character Kan. The lower part of Kan 
indicate eyes. Characters with this part is often closely related to your eyes in meaning or mean an action done or taken with the help of your eyes. Let's take a look at some more examples with this part. And the first pair, sound, yan jing. It means eyes. And the second example here, sounds shui. It means to sleep. And the last example here, sounds zheng. It means to open your eyes. Now, could you please read that for me? Yan jing. Yan jing. Shui. Shui. Zheng. Zheng. Once again, yan jing. Shui. Zheng. Okay, very good. And one more customer I want to introduce in Yuan Xiao Jie is guessing Latin riddles in Chinese. Cai Deng Mi. Now let's write Cai Deng Mi together. Okay, Cai. Slide down. Cross, curve, and hook. Cross. Two horizontal lines. Cross and cross. Top down. A turn. Hook. Connect and connect. It is Cai. Deng. Deng is a character we wrote just now. Do you still remember? And it means a Latin or Latins. Mi. A dot. A turn. Hook. Two dots. Across. Slide down. A dot. One more dot. A turn. Curve. And press right word. It is me. Okay. Cai means to guess. Deng means a Latin or Latins. Mi means a riddle or riddles. So guessing riddles written on Latins is Cai Deng Mi. Now, could you please read after me? Cai Deng Mi. Cai Deng Mi. Cai Deng Mi. Okay, very good. Now, let's try to Cai Deng Mi. And the first Deng Mi is what is higher without a head than with a head? It is. Okay, pillows. In Chinese, zhen tou. Now, could you please read that for me? Zhen tou. Zhen tou. Okay, so did you guess it right? One more. Deng Mi for you to guess. What stays hot even if put in a refrigerator? Did you get your answer? It is. Chilies. In Chinese, it is. La Jiao. Now, could you please read after me? La Jiao. La Jiao. Okay, very good. So both Zhen Tou and La Jiao are answers to the riddles. While in Chinese, answers to the riddles is Mi Di. Now, let's write Mi Di together. We wrote Mi just now. It means a riddle or riddles. Di, a dot, horizontal line, slide down, slide down again, top down, hook, straight out, cross, and hook, a dot, it is di, it means the bottom, something most hidden. So answers to the riddles is mi di. If you get mi di right, you will win some festival gifts in Yuan Xiao Jie. 
Now, could you please read after me? Mi di. Mi di. Mi di. Okay, very good. Now, I want to draw your special attention to the character Deng. The left part of Deng is a single character too, which sounds Ho and means fire. Characters with Ho is often related to fire in meaning. Let's see some more examples. And the first one is Pao. Do you still remember Fang Bian Pao, meaning setting off fire crankers? The character Pao itself means fire crankers. Okay. The second example here sounds Yan. It means cigarettes. And the last character here, it sounds Shi. It means to extinguish. Now, could you please read after me? Pao. Yan. Shi. Once again. Pao. Yan. Shi. Okay, very good. And now let's review what we have learned today. If you would love to chi tang yuan, kan deng hui, and cai deng mi, you are always invited to come over to China and join us in the Latin festival, Yuan Xiao Jie. Thank you.